breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Panic returns to Oweri as schools, businesses shut down over mystery letter. Panic returns to Oweri as schools, businesses shut down over mystery letter. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Several months after the city of Oweri stopped the Monday seat at home routine, the Imo state capital has once again been plunged into fear and uncertainty following a mysterious letter in circulation ordering people to sit at home on Mondays or face the wrath of the unknown gunman. It is believed that the letter took traction from the recent attacks by yet to be identified gunmen on the Umuguma Police Division in Oweri West. The attack and raising of the country home of the Oanezel Indigo President General, Prof. George Obiozo in Awo, Omama in Oru East local government area, and that attack on Aba Vigilante operatives in Umwangeli local government area all in the state in the last 72 hours. Consequently, Oweri residents woke up to a nearly deserted city center with most schools shut, while others were at the gates of their schools, sending students back home because of what they consider a potent threat to security. The panic in the city is palpable, but regrettably, that the police and other security agencies have allowed the hoodlums to dominate the narrative and inflict fear on the city. The police even deepened detention by also shutting down one lane of the Okigwe Road, an action that has become a popular indication of fear or security threat by the police command. The popular market in the city were all, were all scanty, while most filling stations were closed with those open selling from only a few pumps and keeping their gates partially open. It is generally believed that by afternoon or dusk, the tension will ease out, but it is a matter of serious concern to residents of the state as many have shown their worry that the authorities seem helpless in the face of the circulating letter which also threatened to shut down schools and deal with proprietors which will set the national anthem. The poorly written letter, which was signed by Commander One Man Squad for the unknown gunman, stressed that, ver that every Monday or any other day of court appearance for Unam Dekano the sit at home order must be obeyed. Several months after the city of Oweri stopped the modern sit at home routine, the Imo state capital has once again been plunged into fear and uncertainty following a mysterious letter in circulation ordering people to sit at home on Mondays or face the wrath of the unknown gunman. It is believed that the letter took traction from the recent attacks by yet to be identified gunmen on the Umuguma Police Division in Oweri West. The attack and raising of the country home of the Oanezel Indigo General President General Prof. George Obiozo in Awo Umama in Oru East local government area. An attack on Abba vigilante operatives 
Onowangile local government area, all in the state in the last 72 hours. Consequently, our residents move up to a nearly deserted city center, which most school short, while others were at the gate of their schools, sending students back home because of what they consider a potent threat to security. The panic in the city is palpable, but regrettably that the police and other security agencies have allowed the hoodlums to dominate the narrative and inflict fear on the city. The police, even deep in detention, by also shutting down one lane of the Okigwe Road, an action that has become a popular indication of fear or security threat by the police command. The popular market in the city were all scanty, while most filling stations were closed with those open selling from only fuel pumps and keeping their gates partially open. It is generally believed that by afternoon or dusk, detection will ease out, but it is a matter of serious concern to residents of the state as many have shown their worry that the authorities seem helpless in the face of the circulated letter, which also threatened to shut down schools and deal with proprietors, which recite the national anthem. The poorly written letter, which was signed by Commander One Man Squad for the unknown gunman, stressed that every Monday or any other day of court apparent for Unam de Kano, the city home order must be obeyed. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Let's move down to the comment section. The first comment which I have here says, when you make all choice of youth development based on connection and selfish sentiment, you are bound to face the consequences that is it. Another comment here says, this could originate from anybody suspecting another strategy to start arresting and killing innocent Easterners, God take over. And the last comment which I have here says, mad drug addict, must you kill your own people for doing their legitimate business? Why can't you write in your, in your local language instead of this poor English synonymous with school dropout and murderous hoodlums? Nonsense. To my dear listeners, please do drop back at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.